and gentlemen, and welcome to our Slackers Undercover live stream. I am your host for today, Mad Dog. I bring you some more joy of robo building with Mad Dog. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? Hopefully, pretty good. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Ah, end of the season. Collect my rewards from my uh, from my clan. Got it. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Uh, we have a challenging build for ourselves this time. I figure we need to make another air vehicle, so... Hmm. Okay, so we need to make a new, new slot. And we need to upgrade that bay. We need the uh, 2,000. There we go. Alrighty. And to get started, let's go ahead and name our build. Should have had this up. I want to name it the exact name of what I'm building. Alright. We're going to be making an airship, guys. From an anime I've been uh, watching lately. It is called... Grand Blue Fantasy the Animation. It's over there on Netflix right now, so I highly recommend that one. But it, it's an airship, and it's kind of similar to like ones you see in like Final Fantasy games. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. I'm all over the place. Oh, I still need to get my tablet up for the stream. Sorry, guys. There we go. Come on, D-Life. You can do it. Alrighty guys, let's go through the list of parts we're going to need for this uh, airship. Uh, first off, we'll be using uh, various shapes and sizes of light cubes. We might do some compact, but I think we're just going to stick with the light ones. Uh, we'll be using various uh, rods of different shapes and sizes. We might, and this is a, a key word here, might need to use some helium here so we're gonna try not to but as for movement uh, it's an airship so we'll be using uh, various different wings and thrusters I'm also gonna be using the propellers in this one so it's gonna be an interesting build guys alrighty and for weapons uh, I figured we'd just stick with the good old plasmas. Probably gonna use the uh, T4s here. And then maybe have some lasers on here. But the most important thing I want to make sure I add is uh, an energy module. And then there might be some various uh, uh, cosmetics that we use here. Alrighty guys, well let's get into it, huh? First off, let's start off with some light cubes. <coughs> Need to make the base of the ship. So we know how big it's gonna be. Also, don't forget, mirror mode is your best friend, guys. Don't forget to activate that. Helps us out so many times in our builds. I think that should be long enough because we still need to also uh, build it out. There we go. Do it five wide. 
and then we'll start uh, curving it up because it is an airship. need to curve it up nicely in the corners here so let me do hmm. round or I think let's keep it blocky because otherwise it won't look right hmm. still not looking right let's get these on there first. There we go. And then we can There we go. And then one more layer of light cubes. Keep in mind, we got to make like three air bubbles above, so for the uh, <clears throat> all the various parts. So there we go. I like it. Got to put the uh, ones back here, didn't I? Actually, yeah, it would be two more over, wouldn't it? That's my bad. I always forget how to do this, as it like comes back to me as we get into the process, guys. The proper technique of doing this. There we go, like it. And then... down there hold on we might need to do this first ah I know what we gotta do okay that's this is how we do it okay there we go now we need you right there there we go looking good bam Bam. Oh yeah. Just takes me a minute, guys. Alright, and then we can just get that cube now. There we go. And now, we just do one layer up. And uh, that'll be good enough for our base. Maybe we gotta go back in with it. You know what? I think I like that idea. Just so it's kind of like a like it's rails. There we go. I like that. Alrighty. 
also in a race against time too here guys because uh it took a lot longer for me to run my errands than i had initially planned on so we're gonna try our best to get this build done within the next hour all right and bam and then we can fill it that all in with squares there we go oh you know what let's go ahead and get our energy module in here uh, let me look at this picture again yeah I'll make that like the cabin part right there. All right. Now, let's get these light cubes again. Start filling her in. That was weird how it didn't mirror for whatever reason. We're not going to question it though. We'll do some blocks up here. to make the posts. Okay. Now we need three of these things, so let me look at different picture angles. I guess it isn't three different airbags. It's one, but it just looks like it's three different ones. Okay. So then we need four posts. Let's see. How much health do these have? 30,000 compared to, yeah. These will be nicer to use. Let's do one slightly smaller. Let's see. Long strut. There we go. Move that. In the front. Okay. And we got this kind of like curved thing going on here. Alright, let's go ahead and get back to those cubes. Light cubes, there we are. framework now and I think we'll go out two with it so we'll do the core of the ship 
the air bubble right here. And then... Come out one like that. That looks about right. Make sure we don't run out of room is the key. kind of be its own thing. All right. Yes, so we need to go there. Okay. I think I got the basic shape of it now. Fill this all in. I'll just come down one with it. Come down with it one and up with it one. We gotta go up two with it, don't we? Kinda do. So let's do that. All right. Same thing with this. Gotta make it look like air balloons, right? Alright. Let's start uh, closing these off to make sure that we get the desired effect I want. Start from below because that'll make it easier to figure this out. Okay, let's do that. Which means we've got. Okay, so let's eliminate that right there. Which means we would do that. There we go. I like it. Push that button. There we go. Hmm. It'd be interesting to get this 100. Let's keep building up from where we're at because otherwise I'll get confused on how to do this. Make it look right. Okay. So now we need 
this one. Yeah, that'll look correct. Like that? Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and fix that. And then this needs to be up. And this needs to be that. Hmm. There we go. Now, now we got it. All right. And just like that. Like that. There we go. Love it. All right. This one needs to switch to that, though. Yes. And then... Go there. Oh, that's weird. Why well, wouldn't do that? But uh, I think we need one of these actually. Hmm. Or one of these. Actually, the front can be like blocky because I need to do like a kind of like a dragon design there, so that's fine. There we go. Whoa. And a lot of the CPU is going to be used up trying to make this look correct, so. Okay, so these need to be changed out for this. Okay. Now we're cooking with gas. Freaked me out for a second. All right. So we need, what do we need here to make this look right? I think we need one of these. There we go. All right, and then now we can put light cubes here. Here and here. And that like that. That like that. And then we need these cubes here. Okay. Sorry guys, it's kind of a weird process. Hey, how's it going, guys? Sorry, I didn't see. Check, check, just check, see what you're doing, watching. Hello. Hey, what's going on, uh, Exo and King and R? That's right, Bob Ross is showing you how robot building goes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Back to Slackers. All right, we'll see you later, Exo. Have a good one. Uh, I made a challenging one for myself this time because uh, I'm doing a airship from uh, an anime. So I'm trying to make this as sleek looking as I can. 
trying to make it look like it's actually uh, like an airbag up here. So it's always challenging to figure out where to place things at first, but once you get it going, it's uh, not too bad after that. We actually might, yeah. I think we'll switch these out so that way we can make a bigger bump here for the middle one with the uh, regular cubes. Actually, this one needs to be this kind. There's a lot of thinking in this process. A lot of thinking. Sometimes I get a little confused with trying to figure it out, but... Yeah, that should work. Okay. That was light cube, right? Okay. Yeah, I, I, thought I saw he, uh, heavy for a second there. How you doing today, by the way, King? You doing pretty good? Or EXO, I'm not sure which of you is still there. Alright. I like it. Looks nice. Gotta make sure we keep this one up right here so we know where the middle is going to be. Okay, and then we need to do slants up to that. Whoops. You rascal little cubes. There we go. Sometimes they like to do their own little thing in their own little world. that'll be good enough. Put that right there. That looks nice. I like it. There we go. And then... Like that. Like that. And... There we go. That cube needs to... Realize these ones didn't get. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so we need to eliminate that, put that there, and. Hmm. Just do like that. And. Maybe we gotta just eliminate these ones there. There we go. Let's look at it from a distance. Yeah. Kind of looks like three airbags, right? Kind of into one. Alrighty. Uh, I need to make the kind of dragon head. I'm not sure if I have a cosmetic for that. Let's look real quick. Let's see here. There's got to be something close. at my reference picture one more time. Might be able to get away with doing this one. Okay, I think we need uh, some cubes out. So let's see. We need cubes there do this right might be able to get away with doing this and then adding some spikes onto it to make it look like a uh, dragon head so let's get the right one and then we can yeah then we can add some uh, some spikes on the back of the head right here Actually, we'll just we'll do that if we can. Uh, come on, you gotta let me have something fit in there. There we go. Alright, and then now we can add these cosmetic parts right here. Let's try these ones and see how we like them.
Yeah, if we add another row, that'll be good. Oh. For the for the cosmetic look of it, let's just let's just do that. There we go. All right, and get that in place. That'll fit there as well. There we go. And yeah. Awesome. I can dig it. Oh, that was not the light version. There we go. Let's do that so that way. Yeah, I think that'll look good. All right, let's do one more layer of blocks here and then we should be uh, perfect. There we go. And then cosmetics. There we go. Kind of looks like a dragon head, right? <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully it does. All right. Now let's make sure that these posts don't uh, get destroyed right away. Um, and we need a cube there. There we go. Not the prettiest poles, but you know, beggars can't be choosers, right? There we go. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and... I guess we can just do blocks. It save ourselves some time. And then we just need to clean up these edges. Yeah, I think that's good enough. And then we'll just do the edge right here. right here actually that's why we had that off okay so we're gonna do that 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 and then this one was gonna be interesting how we do this actually yeah it would be better if we did it like that wouldn't it okay So, these are all going to be cubes out because we need to have the propellers and stuff on here. Let's go ahead and get the movement on there. Let's see. Uh, let's do the T3s. Now can we fit a third one right there? it in a little bit we can there we go all right uh, da, da, da. let's see how to do the wings on here okay so we need we need to do some light cubes here so let's go ahead and connect this these better first if these fall off, then we're kind of in trouble. There we go. I like it. There we go. And I think there's a connection point below. No? Okay, we're good. Alright. So we got our propellers. We do need to make the siding right here. There we go. That looks nice. I like it. I guess what we could do is do this. Yeah, that would look okay. 
I am perfectly all right with that. And then we can do these here. Do it like that. This game can be a little bit challenging sometimes to get this stuff just right, but it comes out looking good in the end. That scared me a little bit. <laughs> I, for, I always forget that it levels you up while you're building now. Which is so weird. Such a weird concept. But whatever it wants to do, I'm fine with. Alright, let's... We had to redo that a little bit. Sorry, guys. Bam, and... Doing the there we go. That's what I wanted. All right. So now we can do that. And not like that. There like that. Yeah, that'll look alright. All right, there we go, and right here. Yeah, we got the look of it now. Okay, now we need the uh, wings. All right, and we're gonna do the giant bat wings off of here because they do have those as part of the design, but it looks like we're going to need to build... Oh, you know what we could do? If it'll let us. I think we built out enough to be able to accomplish that. How big does that need to be? Yes, there we go. <coughs> there we go. Alright, now we need a few wings on top. We're also going to be using the uh, the bat bat wings and rudders because that's what we're going for here. The little dragon look right there. I like it. Now, this is going to be 100% accurate just because we need to make sure that uh, this thing moves. So let's go ahead and test it real quick. So we still need to add the weapons on. But we need to make sure it flies, more importantly. So. Looks like we need to add a few more regular wings on here. Yeah. Okay. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna add one more set of dragon wings going out the side where those other ones are. And then that should be good enough to get it working right. So. And then we'll add the plasma cannons on the bottom and we should be good. So let's get rid of that. And we need to get the big wing on here. That was off by one. There we go. I only worry about that being so close together just because it's like, oh man. If someone hits that one little area, that's screwed. Oh, that's... Okay. Whoops. I used the wrong thing here. No wonder that wasn't working right. Okay, let's... 
Let's remove that and put the proper one here. Okay, those were the rudders that I was putting before. Whoops. <laughs> All right, now it should work right. Fingers crossed. <clears throat> Flying is so hard to get right in this game. When you do, I think I need a few thrusters on the front end to help with stabilizing it. Let's go and get in the air and put our uh, plasmas on because if we don't have the weapons on there that's going to be an issue. The weight of the weapons might also fix our problem so let's lift this baby into the air all right and let's go ahead and get those plasma cannons on there let's see yeah, we'll go with the blue go with those ones since they look better no way to get okay hmm you know what Just go ahead and do a uh, square back up right there. Oh, wait. They grab light cubes? There we go. Alright, and then now that one plasma on the back. Alright, too bad we can't put one like right there. I guess if I... Let's do this. Let's see if we can. We can get away with it. That first, and then a light cube there, and then let's see if that works. Or actually, let's do this. Still not gonna look right, but it's okay because there's gonna be something on it, so you won't be able to see it too well. Uh, da, da, da. Nice. Okay, let's test it out again. Make sure. no problem, but just getting it to turn after that is the issue. Okay, so let's let's add those rudders on the front that I was not going to before and see if that fixes it with a few thrusters underneath. 
And hopefully we should be good. Let's go ahead and get I guess let's put a set there too and see how that works out. Okay with that, that doesn't look too bad. We fit one more right there. Yes. Alright. Let's see how that does. Actually, you it was a lot better than that was also before. Alrighty. Now, I know I wanted to add lasers on here, but I'm not sure if I'm going to have room because... The lasers would be just for in case somebody gets in the air and they're attacking me. I wonder if I could do Seekers instead. Seekers might be better. Because then... Put those on the top, maybe? Hmm. Where would we put Seekers at? You know, I think they would go good right here. Let's see. We should be able to fit Seekers on here. They're fairly cheap. How much room do we have left? Ooh, no we won't. Hmm, what about lasers? Oh yeah, we should be able to easily fit the, the T4s on here. Okay. So just uh, anywhere we want to. So put a set there. And I'll do one up here for sure. There we go. There's two there. And then we'll do the two on the side here. Let's see. We need two cubes. Bam. There we go. Four lasers. Alrighty, let's test it one more time just to make sure. Oh, we forgot to fill this in, didn't we? Uh, not a lot of cubes left to fill it in, so we'll just have to uh, make do with a few 
here. Oh. Also need to connect that right there, don't I? We forgot to make the underneath smooth and everything, but <laughs> we're kind of out of CPU, but you don't really see that anyway. Get that airbag kind of look right there. Yeah. Alrighty. And let's get this colors, huh? Get the right color scheme here. So mostly blue brown and white okay so let's switch to blue okay uh, da, 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 da. brown would be switch the smaller wings to white We'll do the uh, thrusters white too. And then do these white? Or brown? Let's see. Mm, it's a lighter brown than that. That? Kinda looks correct, but let's see what else we got. Oh, those are the only browns, huh? Yeah, let's do that brown. <sighs> only problem with uh, this is like when you're trying to like paint things. Sometimes it won't let you get to the part you're trying to do. I'll just worry about painting those back later, the color they need to be. Oh god. Uh, got stuck in there for a second. Unfortunately, no happy little shields today. That's okay. Not every robot gets happy little shields. This one's just got plenty of happy little thrusters and wings. top of the deck. Whoa. Forgot to go above that.
Alright, now we need to change that back to the correct blue. Yep, alright. I think I want to do the weapons blue. I like the way they look blue. Alright, guys. What do you think? Look like an airship to you? With a dragon head on it? Robotic dragon head, but, you know, dragon head nonetheless. Actually, do the spikes need to be white? Hmm. Yeah, the dragon head's kind of white, so let's switch that to white. those middle spikes need to be changed. Awesome. Alright, that looks correct now. Uh, looks like we only have time to test it in an AI match, so I'll do a stream later where we play against actual players with this. So Let's go ahead and get out and test her out. Oh yeah, it's very hard to do uh, proper airships on this game, so I really hope they fix that when they make the next version of Robocraft, so yeah, it looks like three separate ones that connect together in the middle. Yeah, alright, let's go test her out, play versus sure. That looks like a new map. I don't recognize that map. Huh. Did they add a new map? Or is this like an old map they brought back? Oh, this is an old match they brought back. Nice. bit. 
I'm just grateful that it can still fly so well at 50% loss of parts. back more sooner. That is pretty good. Best damage, 7 kills. I love that one a lot. That one's, that one's great. Great speed, great mobility. King be less than half its health and it still will fly correctly. That's great. So, alright, we got a winners on our hand here. as well. There we go. They'll be more powerful. Alrighty, guys. I'm going to say quite a successful build here. So, got four plasma cannons on it, four laser guns. Or, sorry, six plasma Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Sorry, five plasma guns, four lasers. So, we got plenty of weaponry on here. So I think this will this will do good. I mean, it is light armor, so it doesn't have a lot of health. So we need to be more support role, but we were cleaning house there. So I'm very, very happy with that design. So it's not 100% looks like it, but it's close enough to where you'd be like, yeah, that's it. So alrighty, guys. Well, that is all the time I have for today. Unfortunately, got to go work and deliver that beer. You know how it is. But uh, thank you all for joining me. And yeah, thank you, uh, XO and King in R for stopping by. Appreciate it. Uh, tomorrow I'll be streaming, and I'll definitely open my chest tomorrow. So just stay tuned for that. All right, guys. And uh, yeah, this is a Mad Dog signing off. And we'll see you next time, Slacker Underground. Don't forget to howl at the moon at me with uh, well, while we go. Arr, arr, arr.